I'm about to cover the earning opportunities that Alvi.com provides and I'll show you how you can start making money using this platform without necessarily being a cryptocurrency expert, so let's give it a try. Earn interest, borrow assets, build applications, and many, many others. And I'm about to break it down for you. You see, one of the primary features that Alvi.com is famous for are the flash loans. I don't want this to be a technical tutorial, so we will not go in depth about each and every single term. Instead of that, this will just be a practical guide you can just follow step by step. And so when it comes to flash loans, here is how this works in a nutshell. You see, Aave.com is willing to lend you a big amount of cash for a very short period of time. You could literally borrow hundreds of thousands of dollars for a few seconds and on average we are talking about 12 to 14 seconds in other words for a brief 12 to 14 seconds you're literally a hundred thousand dollars richer but after the time has passed you need to give that amount back however guys believe it or not there are a lot of things that we can do in those 12 to 14 seconds in order to make a profit from that initial loan so let me break it down let me show you exactly where the earning potential is and in order to fully understand what's happening here we need to understand the concept of price arbitrage this is the practice of taking Taking advantage of a difference in prices in two or more different markets and that is really obvious when it comes to the dropshipping model you can find an undervalued product on aliexpress list it on amazon for a higher price and keep a profit whenever you generate the sale and there is a very similar thing that you can do when it comes to cryptocurrencies to be even more precise you could connect to two different crypto exchanges that can be binance and qcoin for instance now for the sake of simplicity here i'm going to exaggerate the rates a little bit for example let's just say that we can purchase bnb right now for a $315 a piece on Binance.com. However, we can sell it on Qcoin for $300. $16. Now, generally speaking, the price difference will not be that significant. It will only be a few cents. And so what we could do now, in theory, is just purchase one BNB off of Binance.com, take into account the deposit and withdrawal fees, and then sell it on Qcoin for a profit. Purchasing and selling one piece will give us a $1 profit, which is not spectacular, but we are talking about big volumes here because you can take a substantial loan from Aave. For example, with $100,000, you would literally purchase an amount of, well, let's see, 317 BNB. That is a solid $317 profit for a brief 12 to 14 seconds. That's literally all it takes. You're getting that flash loan from Aave, heading over to Binance and purchasing the BNB, and then really quickly selling that BNB on Qcoin. But now guys, in theory, this sounds great. I'm sure it does. But in practice, it is close to impossible. I'm 100% confident that no human being would be able to purchase BNB on Binance. Binance.com and sell it on Qcoin all in the span of 12 seconds. It is not humanly possible. And for that reason, when it comes to flash loans, these are typically taken advantage of by automated pieces of software. In other words, these are bots they are doing. But luckily for us, you don't even have to be a coding expert either. If you have no coding skills whatsoever, there are automated tools out there that you can just use as a beginner. There are all sorts of user interfaces which will allow you to get the job done. And now you might be saying, well, this sounds too good to be true. I can literally borrow $100,000 then take advantage of some price arbitrage, take advantage of some opportunity that I've just spotted on the market, use an automated piece of software so that I don't even have to lift a single finger and keep a $300 profit over and over again. So there must be something else. There must be something I'm missing here. Well, I'm sorry to bring it to you, but there is, and that is collateral. Now in lending agreements, collateral is a borrower's pledge of specific property to a lender to secure the repayment of a loan. So if you're gonna borrow $100,000 from Aave, you need to assure them that you will pay it back. And that is why you're gonna need a significant amount of money in your balance in order to be able to take those loans. And so this is not necessarily something that a beginner can do right away. It's a difficult process, it's a pretty technical one, and so a lot of research goes into making sure that everything works perfectly. But if you're able to nail it, if you're able to understand exactly what's going on behind the scenes and you dive deeper into the subject, this is a real earning opportunity. So I would suggest that you look into it. However, guys, I promise that I would provide you with ways that you can start making money as a complete beginner as well. So let's take a look at that. Well, the first one of them would be staking your crypto assets on Aave. You see, these guys have developed their own cryptocurrency, which you guessed it, is called Aave. And right now it is worth about $100. It's pretty far off from its all-time high, which was over $400, but that seems to be a trend with the whole crypto market right now. But that doesn't have to discourage us. If you happen to have any Aave assets, if you're a holder of that cryptocurrency, what you can do is lock your crypto assets for a given period of time and earn interest on it. That way you're helping the development of the ecosystem 
and at the same time you will get compensated for your contribution. So here's how this works. Staking essentially means depositing of a tokens within the protocol safety module. The purpose of staking is to act as a mitigation tool in case of a shortfall event. And as an incentive, Aave stakers will be rewarded. And this is one of the most effortless ways you can start making some easy profits. Another thing that you could do would be supplying liquidity to a liquidity pool. There are slight differences between providing liquidity to a pool and staking your cryptocurrencies, but in practice, you're virtually doing the same thing. So you're just is locking a certain amount of cryptocurrency for a given period of time and you're earning interest on it so if you're not a huge crypto enthusiast and you're not interested in looking into exactly what's happening the bottom line is this for both of these methods you're earning interest on your crypto assets which at the end of the day is just passive income right but now guys up until this moment we've been talking about being on the receiving end cryptocurrency lending but what about being the person who lends out the cryptocurrency is that a profitable endeavor? Can we make money with that? Well, we can definitely do it. Just take a look at this. When it comes to Qcoin.com, these guys have engineered the specific feature that allows you to lend out your crypto assets for a given period of time, which can be 7 days, 14 days, and all the way up to 28 or even more than that, and you're going to earn interest on it. So let's say you have 1000 USDT in your wallet. What you can do is lend out that amount of money to a different user. You get to pick the duration of that lend, which can be 14 days or even all the way up to 28. And most importantly, you get to pick the daily interest rate. And we're talking about all the way up to 2%. Now, 2% is on the extreme side, if you ask me. Nobody's ever going to borrow assets from you if you're going to charge them 2% interest. But the best part is that we can take a look at the market rates. For instance, there are people giving out their cryptocurrencies, lending out their assets for a 0.01 one percent interest rate now remember this is the daily interest rate so as time passes this amount will add up and so the annualized rate in this case is close to five percent what that means in simple terms is that if you lend out your cryptocurrencies for an entire year we're talking about a five percent interest rate which starts being a little bit more significant than just 0 0.01 and here's another important thing to keep in mind the more money you are willing to lend out the more you can charge in terms of interest. Just take a look at this guy. They are lending out 300,000 USDT, which is close to 300,000 US dollars. Now, they have set a daily interest rate of 2%, which gives them an annualized rate of 730% which is just spectacular. Now, I'm not sure anybody is going to borrow with such a high interest rate, but at the end of the day, you could give it a try. It's all up to you. Now, to be entirely honest, I do not necessarily see this process as a way to multiply your funds. Instead of that, I would just see this process as a wealth preserver, a way you can be safe against deflation if you want. But a 1% annualized rate is not gonna make you rich, let's face it. Even if you lend out an amount of $100,000 worth of Bitcoin or USDT or whatever else you are lending out, that is just going to be an extra $1,000 per year, which is not that spectacular, is it? And so guys, here's the bottom line. If you're just starting out and you don't really want to invest all of that time and energy into learning exactly what's going on behind the scenes, one of the easiest approaches you could take would be staking your crypto assets. The whole process is pretty beginner friendly. You still get a pretty good understanding of what's actually happening and you can earn a decent interest rate on your assets. For instance, you could stake the BNB token on Binance.com or the Gemini dollar on Gemini or CRO on crypto.com at the end of the day you call the shots so i'm gonna let you guys pick your favorite option and go for it thanks for watching